I've been airing it out and it still smells like ass and not the good kind. Greetings, Internet Crazy Ken is back and I love talking in the third person. Anyway, after we unboxed all of that awesome black magic stuff, it's now time to unbox something to protect all of that awesome black magic stuff. Just in case it gets ruined, you know, kind of like what USPS did to my cinema display. Anyway, check it out. This box didn't get damaged, so thank you UPS for doing a good job as a carrier should. And honestly, if the box did get damaged, it probably wouldn't matter anyway, because we're actually unboxing a crush-proof and watertight Pelican case that is for the camera gear. Let's have a peeky-poo. You know my policy on scissors. I'm not a scissors guy. I like to just use what God gave me, my fingers. If you're ever stranded on a desert island and you need to do an unboxing, there you go, and you don't have a knife, although that's probably one of the more basic survival tools you should have, but you can use your finger, see? Training! Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that's great. All right, and um, well, let's count all the deflated airbags. Mm, zero! <laughs> UPS knows how to ship stuff. How come USPS couldn't do that? Whatever. Anyway, here is the entree for today, if you will. Nice and safe. Now, the funny thing is, this case actually had a square trade option from B&H. I just thought it was kind of funny. Drop and spill protection. Ah. Uh, it's a case. It's designed to be dropped and spilled on, and it will be fine. So I don't know why you'd get a warranty for that. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. Let's uh, unwrap this guy. Silica gel, delicious and nutritious. Get one today. Oh, it's leaking. Silica pellet right there. Well, what a delightful case. So, it is crush-proof and watertight, as I said. But the cool thing is, it's a backpack. It's not just a camera case. It's actually a backpack, and there's a compartment for your laptop. So it's the perfect thing to walk with. And there's also a little side strap here for a tripod. So, like, literally, I could carry all of my gear that I travel with just on my back, and I don't have to worry about water or it getting crushed. Built-in case, as it warns us with yellow caution tape. Oh, it's got these, like, ah, there we go. Yeah, who needs scissors? The label that says built-in case, right there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not kidding, so let's just set her down. You push in, and you just lift it up, and your laptop can go in here, it looks like. I'm guessing that's where your laptop goes. <laughs> Hopefully I'm right and I don't crush something. Good, nice latch there. Okay, and now the fun part, I mean, there's also all these side pockets, too, which is great. But... The fun part is this. Now, this is where camera gear will go, cameras, lenses, all that good stuff. And there's even, there's even like a sleeve here. There's more like compartments on this panel here. It's just freaking full feature. All right, there's our magical, awesome Pelican logo. And now open Sesame to actually get a good look at this. This is the exciting part. So we can put all of our camera bodies, our lenses in here, and we can strap them into place with these. But the other fun thing is, let's say a compartment doesn't fit your gear. Rip this shit out. Boom, now you got a longer compartment. You can put it back in there. So all these things are just... <laughs> uh, I forgot the generic name for that material. Velcro is like the brand of that, you know, like Kleenex. I forgot what... Fat touch fastener? I, I forgot what this stuff is actually called. Uh, we're just going to brand it and call it Velcro. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, you can change the compartment sizes just by taking these off and repositioning them. Now I can put like a longer telephoto lens in here. It's just, it's so flexible. And again, here's our back, where my back will go. And then here is that latch. And it opens up and it lets us put like a notebook or something in here. I'm guessing this is what the laptop compartment is for. This model is particularly for laptops. There actually is a model similar, same price, that is fitted more for tablets and it holds a little less gear, but 
Still by Pelican, still the same price, at least on B&H. Okay, I know this case is gonna be lugged through a lot of dirtier environments, but... Something is already getting this really dirty. I wonder if it's this <laughs> cheap ironing board I'm actually filming on. Yes, I've been filming on an ironing board this whole time. Yeah, oh, it's kind of filthy. I guess that's all coming from the board. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, uh, let's actually put some camera gear in here and see what it's like. Okay, so I haven't used this a lot for about the past week as I've been experimenting with my black magic a lot, but I've been airing it out and it still smells like ass and not the good kind. So, you know, it's fresh, so it's gonna smell weird for a while, but yeah, so these things are all flexible. You can reposition them however you want. In fact, I have like a bunch of these yellow pieces that I haven't even used yet. <laughs> so I got a lot left over. So, for example, we could take our good friend, the black magic Ursa, and just kinda drop it in there you know, make sure the yellow pieces are in place, and then, oh, shit, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's, let's try that again. Um, or, you know, I could use this thicker one. <laughs> Touch fasteners, yes. Can't live with them, can't live without them. And you can just kind of strap it in. Safety first, right? You gotta buckle up. Now it's not, it's pretty secure in there. It's not really jiggling anywhere. And again, this is, this is pretty crush proof, and it's water resistant, so it'll be fine on your back trekking through wherever the hell your friends bring you that day. So that's nice. Also, um, I didn't really factor this in, but the battery is like huge. So that might just go here. This isn't down to a science yet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, so big batteries need big chargers. So I didn't really factor in where this is going either, but it's probably gonna somehow, well, yeah, as you can see, I got some work to do, but That'll happen, eventually. I'm using one of my lenses right now, but this is my other one, the uh, good old Nifty 50. Just plop that in right there, that one's easy. Okay, so I won't lie, it may not be the most professional looking setup, but I'll tell you what. For the price, this is good. It's mainly for DSLRs, I believe, and not big honking Ursa cameras, but again, for the price, it's nice. Pelican makes good products, I love their shit. And they do have that pick and pluck stuff, but, you know, that foam, yes, will give you more flexibility and customization options, but you're gonna be paying a pretty penny. So I think I can settle for this, and again, I can rearrange it whenever I want. So yeah, we got the honkin' battery and the honkin' charger in there. Honkin', frickin' double honkin', whatever that means, Ursa. And we got our Nifty 50 in there still, you know, I could put, I could just put like all my ND filters like in here, my cards, are these my... These are my SD cards. Throw those, like, heck, that could even, like, slide in on the side here, you know? Just <laughs> just play with it. I mean, as long as the stuff isn't moving around... Yeah, that might not work. As long as the stuff isn't, like, moving around, like, it, it, it'll be fine. I, I don't imagine this being a huge problem during transport. Yeah, there's a little bit of a uh, notices your bulge going on there, but that'll be okay. I'm gonna give it a little shake. I'm not feeling anything moving, so that's good. Okay, so it actually does fit pretty well. Yes, it is a little heavy with all that stuff in there, but it's really just to temporarily move around. I'm not gonna be wearing this a lot. It's mainly to get through an airport, get to a bus stop, whatever, and then load it up as a carry-on and bring it to my destination. Um, so for the most part, I probably won't have this on my back, but you know, it, it's comfy, it's not too bad. I don't hear anything shaking in there. Do a little booty shake. Yeah, nothing's moving around, so it's keeping the stuff still, and I'm assuming that means it's keeping everything safe, and it's not too overbearing on my back. So, so far, Ace is all around, and I like it. All right, so I walked around with it a little bit. Everything's fine. Nothing looks like it moved. Obviously, this fastener really isn't gonna work there, but no, everything looks good, so I think this is a good solution. I'm actually gonna be traveling to the Twin Cities soon with this, and I'll get a more full test in for sure. But yeah, I think it's a pretty good buy. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think and get your own and try it out for yourself if you got some film gear to lug around, especially DSLRs. I think this will work better for DSLRs than my ginormous Ursa Mini. So it's a good solution for me. Let me know what you think, and thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, I'll see you in the not-too-distant future.